So we're thinking about mark making this week with reference to using it on a portrait. But because we're using line, that doesn't mean that we're going to use a line to define the features, put a line around the features. Quite the opposite. We're really thinking about ways of creating interesting lines in a drawing, which will tell us something about the form, tell us and um, describe where the tone is on the face, and also hopefully give us some idea of characteristics of the person um, and their character, and also to make it a drawing which has character too. So you can see this first sketch that I'm doing, I'm using a freehand expressive way of mark making where my hand's just moving across the surface of the paper and I'm just trying to find the form, find the features within the line, adding little bits of definition as I go, but keeping the whole thing fairly open to start off with. And some of the lines are descriptive and some of them are really just moving from one area of the drawing to the other. And for this next drawing, I'm using contour lines. So contour lines which follow the form or shape of something. So I'm using sets of curved lines which will try to create, um, imagine you're running your fingers across the surface of somebody's face, what kind of path would they take? And once again, I'm changing the direction of my mark making to try and describe the planes of the face. And I'm also varying the scale and the spacing of my marks. So where I've got more detail around the eyes, I'm using shorter marks closer together. And across the cheeks, where you've got a larger open area, I'm using longer strokes, which are more spaced out. So using the white of the paper as well. And hopefully this kind of mark making is quite sympathetic to the softness of the face and introducing character. And for this final drawing, I'm using hatching lines. So hatching lines being um, sets of straight parallel lines that um, sit next to each other, but you can overlay with another set of lines running at a different angle to build up cross hatching. And I'm left handed, so my default way of making marks on the paper is to sort of start top left and to run to bottom right. Um, but it's really important again to keep changing the direction of your marks in order to say something about the different planes of the face and to start to introduce form into the, the study that you're drawing. And once again, you can see me changing the length of my strokes. So I've got some long strokes which run across the cheek and then using much smaller ones around the eye and building up lots of levels of, of hatching marks there where I'm trying to introduce some extra tone and shadow. And with all things in drawing, you don't just have to stick to one of these techniques. You could combine elements of all three in your portrait study this week.